Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here in Times Square in the middle of Manhattan because this is where the new year begins. And it's going to be a very exciting new year with a lot of planetary action. And here's what that'll mean for you. Mercury retrogrades four times in 2016. Aquarius, Mercury is retrograde from January 5th through 25th, and later from December 19th through the end of the year. Now, this is in your 12th house, so meditation and quiet time will help you clarify your ideas. Then you can take action. The second time is from April 28th through May 22nd in your 4th house. Family members may be confused or disoriented. Give them a little extra space. The third time is from August 30th through September 22nd in the 8th. Now, partners may be out of balance or needlessly worrying. Nurturing and kindness will save the day. Venus brings her love to every sign this year. Aquarius, Venus brings opportunities for love and pleasure to you from February 18th through March 13th, and then again from December 8th through the end of the year, twice when she's in your sign, and her loving light will shine brightly upon you. Make more than just friends. <laughs> She'll smile on you from May 25th through June 18th when the art of conversation goes beyond just friendly talk, and then she'll be happy again from August 31st through September 24th, when you are empowered to negotiate for what you want and need. Mars is retrograde from April 17th through May 29th. Aquarius, Mars begins the year in your 10th house, increasing your interest in career and social ambition. He enters your 11th house and focuses your attention on using social power for good. Now move with care from April 17th through May 29th when he's going retrograde. But the pace will quicken from June till the end of the year. So protect your energy while you plan to reach your personal goals. Jupiter starts the year in Virgo and moves to Libra on September 10th. Aquarius, Jupiter starts the year retrograde in Virgo in your eighth house. Now you must reassess what you feel about other people. Your intuition may be a little bit off and you're going to have to rely on common sense. Seek honesty, caring, and understanding. He moves into Libra in your ninth house on September 9th. So your mind will be more active and your imagination can almost help you see the future. Put ambitious plans into motion and get the education you need. Before going on to the Saturn-Neptune Dream Square, I'd like to remind you that you can learn how to develop your own psychic and spiritual abilities. Just order a copy of my book, The Art of the Mystic. It's on ProfessorAstrology.com. Saturn squares Neptune, the Dream Maker. Aquarius, Saturn has been transiting Sagittarius and your 11th house for the past year. Now, you have seen the effects of your interaction with social and humanitarian groups. You've been able to join your individuality and your vision with others to try to improve the world and society. His year-long dance with Neptune in your second house will be exact in June and September, bringing you the opportunity to expand your ability to use your resources in a more spiritual manner. Your creativity will find a new source that brings a deep sense of purpose and a new spiritual satisfaction. Saturn gives form and structure, Neptune imagination and faith. Use the power of Saturn and Neptune to make your dreams come true. The Uranus-Pluto square is released. Aquarius, the Uranus-Pluto square has instigated crisis in the world and change in our lives. But now the intensity is weakening, allowing for positive change. 
Now, Uranus has given you the energy to assimilate new ideas and techniques into your life. Your mind is more supple. Now, use the power of Pluto to eliminate fears and gain inner strength by using the guiding light of your spirituality. Now these were just general predictions based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate predictions based on your time, date, and place of birth, just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you'll go to the personal services page, and you can order a transit chart which will tell you what's coming for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they're free. And I hope you have a fabulous new year.